Hi, welcome back to New Day, New Way. I'm Anne Marie. Good to have you with me. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to look around. Plenty of topics on the personal development side that I go into and uh, maybe something resonates with you. And also, if you like anything like that, please share with a friend. Uh, we're here to build our best selves so that we can have our best lives. People don't think that's possible, but I promise you that it is. Now, today's topic we're going to talk about is training your replacement. The reason I chose this topic today, I did a short uh, recently and got a comment from a young man who thought it was bad advice and I got to thinking about it and I wanted to just cover it in a little bit more detail. Obviously shorts are, are just that and you can't really cover those in any kind of detail. Training your replacement, whether you are an entrepreneur or whether you work for another company, is a good skill to have for, for a couple of reasons. And we'll go into those now. First of all, whether you are running your own company and have employees or whether you work for another company, you need to train your replacement for your own reasons. And what I mean by that is delegating tasks, someone that can take the, some of these tasks off of you so that your tasks and your job can grow and expand into new areas. For instance, um, I am a solopreneur at this point. I look forward to being able to hire employees uh, in the near future so that some of the tasks that take so much time in my day will be taken care of by someone that I'm, I'm paying to do that job and it frees me up for the more creative side of the business and more time for client calls and more time for the, the, the things that I really love to do about the business That's kind of the point. Uh, when I worked in corporate America, it was important for me to train my replacement uh, for the company standpoint so that there was somebody to do my job and they could supposedly consider me for advancement. Now I get uh, very much do I get that that doesn't happen in a lot of companies. A lot of places where people work inspire this mentality of, you know, I have to be the person that does the job and then nobody can do it as good as me or else they'll think I'm lazy or somebody else might get promoted ahead of me or that, you know, I'm replaceable. And I just, I hate that there are companies like that that exist in the world because they, they mess with people's minds and mess with their, their self-worth and they make life miserable. I finally decided to leave that. But if you work in an environment like that, and I'm absolutely not going to give uh, advice here, uh, you know, stone cold advice, but I am going to say I want you to evaluate your options. There are so many people I talk to, they well, I don't have any options. Yes, you do. There's never been a better time, really, with the with the way the you know the way the internet has has exploded. And yes, I understand what's going on in America today in the world, but. There's never been a better time to evaluate your options, to find what makes you light up, what's your passion, what's your purpose, and decide in a direction that's going to give you something fulfilling in your life rather than a job that you get up in the morning hating to go to. If you're in a, in a job that you don't want to train your replacement because of those bad reasons and the, and the company fosters that kind of mindset, I, I would sincerely ask you to, to reevaluate, uh, maybe looking for another company, someone that values their people, one that values their employees and, and values the training behind that employee and wanting to have that employee grow with their company. It's just that simple. And that's what the short was about. I think training our replacement is something that, that, that we should value on our own because it frees us up to do other tasks, perhaps, and hopefully tasks that we're you know, happier with. There's, in my case, no point really in running my own business if I'm the only one doing everything and I never, ever have any free time. Uh, that's kind of the point. You, you want to have some free time and that's, that's free time to spend with your family or to investigate how to grow the business, especially on the creative side. Um, I write books. I would love to have more time just to have an afternoon to uh, to sit and write chapters uh, of a book. That would be fantastic. Um, at this point, though, you know, you're at that stage, or I am, where you, you're pretty much doing everything. And so it's a, it's a heavy schedule. Training my replacement in certain aspects of this business will free me up to have a bit more peace and a bit a bit better of a schedule, which is what all of us need and want, and frankly, we deserve. So, I uh, hope that I kind of covered that. I wanted to do it in a little bit more long form to explain what the short meant and hopefully get you to thinking. Now, if you're not happy in your current position and you're looking 
perhaps we should talk or you should look into some personal development. And the reason I say that is not because I think that you're broken. It's because I think that maybe you're not seeing some opportunities because you're not sure or haven't found what your passion and your purpose is. That is, that is so critical um, for a happy and peaceful life. And I am living proof of this. So if you're interested, all of the info is, is down below, uh, links to find me. I have a blog. I write books. Um, I have social media that you can follow. And I do personal coaching. So all of the links to, to catch me are in the bottom, uh, in, the, in the bio, as it were. And I would love it if you would subscribe so that you'll know when I upload anything to the channel. Um, if it's something that you want to share with someone, please feel free because that's how I can keep coming back to you. And I'll be seeing you hopefully once to twice a week. It'll be at least once um, a week. I'm hoping for twice a week, but New Day, New Way is, is kind of merging and, and growing. So the schedule is changing. I um, hope to see you soon. And again, please, please uh, come back and see me. And until then, be well. Peace.